All right, so should you be stacking gold or silver? It's a question I love to ask, and it's something that I want to dig into. And I also got some channel mail today, guys. Let me get that opened up. I will be right back. All right, YouTube Stacker fam, welcome back. Once again, I am Silver Bitches. And if you're new here, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, so in this video, I did go to the LCS. Like you see in the thumbnail, uh, I picked up some silver and I picked up some gold because I think if you are stacking, I think you should stack both. But, you know, if, if you got plenty, you know what I mean? I know you're fine. I, I understand you don't want to buy right now because it's expensive. It's more expensive than whenever you got in. So right now, there's a lot of people that are new that want to get into stacking, that want to buy silver. And there's ways to do it. There's ways not to do it. Uh, I'm just going to show you the way that I like to do it. And the reason why I like to do both is because for me, silver, this stuff right here, guys, this is, you know, this is my insurance. OK, this is, you know, in case I lose a job, uh, in case I get a terrible, unexpected medical bill or something. You know, it's just insurance for me. And I've been approached many times to sell it and. I have sold a little bit, you know, but for the most part, it's it's just my insurance and, and I'm just going to keep it, you know, just in case, you know, I have to ride it out a couple months or six months or seven months or whatever. I want to have enough to be able to cover my expenses. So that's what silver is for me. Now, as far as gold, whenever I stack gold, that's that's deep stack stuff. That's permanent stuff. I'm not going to get rid of it. I don't care what the price goes to. I'm just not going to get rid of it. It's it's just, it's in the deep stack. You know what I mean? I will never, probably, I probably shouldn't say never, but probably 99% chance that I'm not selling any of my gold. That's just the way I feel. Now, if I have the smaller fractional pieces, I would not mind selling that in order to turn that into a full ounce. But other than that, no. My gold stays with me forever. Now, I did go to the LCS. I had one of my buddies, another YouTube friend, asked me to, while I was going there, asked me to pick him up some as well because my LCS had a good sale. And, you know, my LCS, he's he's legit, man. He's a good dude, Does has great prices. You guys, uh, I've, I've shown it before. Uh, here is, he always gives me these bags, Miller's Coins and Currency. It's in Pooler, Georgia, you know, and, and you can go there and buy with confidence, okay? You know, everything there is legit. You do not have to worry about anything whenever you go there and you buy. They're good people. Uh, you know, if you feel unsafe, guess what? The police station is like right across the street. So <laughs> you're in pretty good shape when you go there. So one of my buddies, he asked me to pick up some rounds for him. And I did. And I got a good variety of rounds. Because, well, it was a good sale. So I picked up one. This one right here is a pretty old one 1979 it's 41 years old wow so pick up that one here is another one this is a it's another good one it's a Pan American round pretty nice uh, here is an SMI just a normal Buffalo <clears throat> Here is an SLQ version, and I think this one flips the right way. There we go. How cool is that? And this is from the Envela Corporation, and it is from the word that I'm not going to say. There you go. Because I'm done talking about that. And I got two of those for him. And I know people love these, the Aztec rounds. Pretty cool. Very intricate design there. And I got him another one. Very intricate design, like I said. It's pretty detailed. Uh, not a fan of them myself, but like I said, these are for somebody else. 
And the last two are pretty cool. I love these. I really don't want to part with them, but these are the stacker rounds. I want to say it's an A mark. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think it is because it would say A mark. Uh, I like that one. Really do. Check this one out. This one's nice too. Pretty. All right, so those are for him, 10, 10 rounds right there. And then what I got for myself is I just got some regular Buffalo rounds, guys. Nothing special about these. Uh, really nothing. Just, just picking up some more insurance, should I say. And I also picked up some gold. I did pick up another 2020 Gold Eagle. And yes, it is a 10th ounce, but I'm trying to keep going that 50 50 route right now man it's it's looking pretty good as far as the stack as far as the equal value in my stack as far as gold and silver and that's that's my ultimate goal is to get as much gold and silver of equal value to one another because it just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable i don't, I don't know why but i just don't i was in initially very top heavy into silver and this year i really stacked up on gold and now that my stack is starting to reflect some very good diversity to it i'll go back to buying a little bit of silver a little bit of gold now i did get some stickers in from a couple channels and one of them is i don't know if you guys know this guy or not but i like him i think he has great content i think he is he might be onto something here as far as platinum, he is the platinum beast. He says, Bridges, thanks for all you do, brother. Your friend and fellow Georgia brother, the platinum beast. And he also sent me some dimes. Dude, you don't, you guys don't have to send me anything, man. Uh, your stickers are fine enough. I, I really do appreciate it. But he sent me a couple Merc dimes. So appreciate that, buddy. Uh, I will enjoy those. And the platinum beast guys you know platinum I, I i personally don't stack it um it's interesting it could be a very sleeping giant and the reason why and i say that all the time when people comment on my videos is and the reason why i say that is because at one time platinum was more expensive than gold right it was well over two thousand dollars an ounce and uh right now it's you know an, an ounce of platinum is half the price of gold for an ounce so, uh, he, you know, the Platinum Beast, you could be onto something here, man. You, I mean, there's an opportunity there. But me, I like to stick with silver and gold. But, but hey, to each is their own, man. Like I said, he does stack silver. He does stack gold. Uh, he, he's very diverse stack. So, kudos to you, man. Keep, keep grinding on those videos, dude. I know it is a grind. I know it is. But keep putting it out, man. People are going to watch. I, I promise you. Now, the other one I got from is uh, this guy. I don't know if you know, guys know this guy or not, but two is one. Uh, it's one of my favorite new channels. Uh, he uh, he sent me britches. Hey, man, just wanted to say thanks for the content and thanks for the support. I think they call that dropping dimes. So here's some payback. Thank you, buddy. He also sent me some dimes. So... But you did not leave a return address, so I can't do the favor. So a Merc Dime and a Rosie, or as International Stacker calls those, Eisenhower Dimes? Well, he used to. I don't know if you guys seen his older videos where he used to call those Eisenhower Dimes. Anyway, <laughs> but like I said, silver and gold, I believe right now, uh, for me, silver is my insurance. And gold is my wealth retention, guys. It really that's that's the way I feel comfortable. And I don't want to be all in on just silver. These these buffalo rounds are nice, and they're the SMIs. So the Sunshine Minting Corporation, guys, they make the same planchets as the Silver Eagles. So these things are pretty beautiful. Ooh. They are nice. I like them. Uh, I, I wish I would have got some more because there was more in there. But, hey, it, it's all right. It's, I like to keep a little bit of money in the bank. You know what I mean? I know, as, you know a lot of people don't say it's money. But 
but I could spend it, so I, I, I call it currency, money, whatever you want to call it. But I like to keep a little dry powder, man. I think it's important. I think it is important. I really do. A lot of people don't, but hey, I do. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out these channels. I'm going to link them down in the description below. And also, if you guys want to send me something, there is a link down there for, for my P.O. box as well. All I ask is don't put silver britches on the, on, the, on the envelope. I just don't want people thinking that there's silver in there and then there's still whatever's the envelope because I've had that happen. So just put SB and then my P.O. box number. All right, that's going to do it for today. Don't forget. Keep grinding on your stack.